our Journeyman series with Fluminense, where we are in sixth position. And uh, things are starting to heat up here. Uh, we're a long way off coming first, that's for sure. But uh, starting to find some touch, and uh, the lads are moving their way up the table. And we have some more uh, cup action here in this episode. But before we do that, we have a player upgrade to do. All right, today's player upgrade comes from Michael Clune. He said, uh, I know Jimmy, you want to give him a tight kit. I uh, want some long sleeves. Okay, we can do that. Give him some white gloves. Uh, he wants the number four. We will change that and any Adidas boot. So we've done that. We've given him some of those uh, messy boots, kind of in the Finland colors. I'll give you number four and we'll get into the gameplay. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Copa Brasileira semi-final, and it's International versus Fluminense. Now, International are top of the table here in the Brazilian league, so uh, this is going to be a tough challenge for us, but uh, hopefully Lombardi can find the back of the net early. Let's get into it. In this part of the pitch. Oh, all too easy, lads. All too easy. Counter-attack football at its finest there. And the defence looked absolutely shell-shocked. Alton and caught in the spot. And, well, who was man-marking? That is terrible defending there from Fluminense. An international hit the first goal. And Puyas between the sticks. That's right, Alton is our finished goal kicker. Bloody hell. DK, you idiot. Know who's in the team. Oh, good work from Perella. There's Bokol from range. Oh, works the keeper. And it's a corner now for Fluminense. Working our way into the game, but we're already 1-0 down. Castinha's going to try and whip this one in. He's got some fucking rain on that one. Too easy for the keeper. Costinha. He's past his defender nicely. Slips it forward. He's got Lombardi. Lombardi turns, shoots, and a good save from the keeper. A corner now for Fluminense. Lombardi turned on a dime and got the shot away, but good keeping. And it's a corner now. Costinha up in the air. Here's the header. Oh, cleared off the line. Bocco gets on the end of it. And it's well, offside. Oh, here we go. Here's Perella. He's got a man out wide in Marin. Come on, Marin. Slips it inside Lombardi. Quick ball. Bocco gets the run. It's Costinha. Costinha works his way inside and shoots and scores. Costinha does it. We equalise and away goal is what was required. And what ball play there from Fluminense. Costinha just rocketed that one into the left side. We equalise. It's one all. Cracking strike from Costinha. Get in, lad. Great movement of play. Maybe Bush happy with that one. It's one all. Oh, Asinho does well. Slips it forward. Bocco breaks the lines. Bocco! Oh, safe from the keeper, and they clear it away. And there's half time at one all. There's Bocco. Arthur Marin. Cuts through the deck, Marin. Lost the Costinha ball as well. working for him out oh, wide. Costinha again. Back. Inside. Bocco. Oh, good challenge. Padu. Lombardi. Lombardi. Oh, save. Barilla. Get in. 2 1 Fluminense. Yes, lad. That's what we needed. Two away goals now. We're 2 1 up. And persistent pays off. Lombardi worked the keeper nicely. It came out. Barilla hits it on the fucking volley. A cracking goal. Bang. Fucking get in there, 2-1. Yes, lad. Good challenge from Eduardo. Lombardi. Bocco. Bocco. Oh, Bocco. Oh. <laughs> oh, terrible. Passes it inside. It's Tommy Hatunen. Tommy Hatunen. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, slipped on his own dick. Can't control it. And there's the whistle. A 2-1 lead. In the semi-final of the Copa Brasileira. Well, we outplayed them 11 shots to four. We had the possession and 18 tackles. Oh, what a defensive display. But Costinha with a 9.0 was outstanding today. All right, we've got a youth squad monthly report and Gabriel Xavier, 78 to 88. We're going to leave him there. Laxanen, 70 to 88. Samuel, 71 to 87. Koskelka, 69 to 81. We're actually going to release him. That's rubbish. And uh, Rantanen, 81 to 94. We're just waiting for this lad. Even though he's got a low overall, hopefully he can grow into something special in years to come. All right, straight into the second leg second of leg the Copa Brasileira. There was a game in between against Sampolo. We'll cover that after this. 
first uh, but we're two one up on aggregate score and we are at home now so uh let's see if we can push through and reach the final um, not really many changes to the side today Camilia comes in at center back another Finnish center back so uh he's higher in the pecking order than I know Jimmy but uh we'll see how he does today and Elton also starting in the context of the Copa Brasileira there's Lombardi Varela Elton oh no two Tunin what am I talking about? I don't even know my own fucking players. That's a great ball to Bocco and a great save from the keeper. Well, I'm just saying Elton because we've got that many of them, but it's Tommy Hatunin, our uh, CDM, and we got from the uh, Perth Glory starting today in the CDM role. And we now have a corner. It's going to be Costinha, who had a cracking game. Corella gets a good touch on it. He's going to try and pass this one off. to ease the pressure. No good. Great chance. Oh, come on. It was all too easy. And they've got the away goal, and it's 2-2 on aggregate. And the smallest man in the world, by the looks of things, slipped through there. We just could not lay a tackle to save our life. And Hoyas, you need to do better than that, son. 2-2 on aggregate. We've still got one away goal in our favor, but we're going to have to play better than that. Let's go, Fluminense. We're looking for Castinha. Ball picked off. Corella. Coming to Tunin, slips it off to Lombardi. There's Lombardi. Oh, what a strike and a cracking save. And a corner now for Fluminense. It's a Tunin. Turns his man nicely. Hatunin! Oh my god! What a fucking goal from Hatunin! He's laced it with the left. Oh, the flying bin. Look what he's done there. He's just turned on it and said, I'm fucking having a crack, lads. And he smashes it home. Well, 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 well. The big CDM gets it to dip late. Completely deceives the keeper. What a goal from the flying fin. And it's one all on the day. Three all on aggregate. No, it's three two on aggregate. What am I talking about? But Tommy Hatunin. Oh, way to make a name for yourself, son. Working it out wide, Perella. Well, they're in good position here. Taking it around his defensive line, Perella. Slips it off. Marin, Costinha, oh yes, get in, Costinha again, it's 2-1 on the day, 4-2 on aggregate, and Fluminense are finding some red hot touch here, they just worked their way through it perfectly, Bombardi was the decoy, and what's the keeper done there, he should have done a lot better, Costinha puts it in with the left, and it is 4-2 on aggregate, get in son. It's a corner late in the first half here. International trying to get back into this game. We're defending well with tackles. Here it comes out wide. Coutinho gets it out to Silva. Slips his way through. Blocked by his own man. And Perella's going to clear this one away. And at half time, 2 1 on the day, 4 2 on aggregate. Patience. Held there. Perella. Inside Lombardi. Lombardi. Oh, Lombardi. 3 1. 5 2 on aggregate. And we were just waiting for him to stand up and find something. And that was a well low driven goal there from Lombardi. He's gone bottom right corner. Keeper not ready for that at all. And that lethal left. Picks it out. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. 5 2 on aggregate. We're going through to the final. There's no holding back now. Oh, Hoyos. A bit of a run, the goalkeeper. Slips it off to Junior. Junior's kept running. Off to Lombardi. Oh, what's he done there, Lombards? Go, son. Takes it in the box. Slips it off. Rock off. Get in! 4 1. 6 2 on aggregates. Oh, Fluminense running riots now. Oh, Lombardi's just set up an absolute beautiful goal. And Bocco sweats it in like a gypsy with a mortgage. Bang. Fuck you, goal. keeper. <laughs> Absolutely destroying international now. Get here, son. There's Bokov. Off to Perella. Hatunin. Turns his man. Hatunin has another crack. Well, he's got one from range. He's in with a sniff. And his confidence is up. But he's put that one a lot higher. Unlucky. Oh, Emu. Go, son. Get on the export. Emu inside. For now. Oh, get to it. It's 5 1. We're running right. I'm pressing start and going to the sliders because, fuck me, this is just 
absolutely insane that the amount of goals we've scored today. It's all on 50s. There's no fucking bullshit going on here. Don't you worry about that. We've just come out absolutely on song to fucking destroy this team. It's 5-1, 7-2 on aggregates. And international have no idea what's just happened. He took Lombardi off for a rest. It didn't matter. Old man Emus just set up the lads again. And bang, 5-1 on the day. And there it is. An absolute whitewash of international. What a performance from Fluminense. 5-1 on the day. 7-2 on aggregate. We're going to a final. Oh, doppelgangers. There's two Fabian Mooshes. Well, that's a drumming. 14 shots to 7. We had the possession once again. An outstanding performance from the entire side. Lombardi with a 9.5. One assist. One goal. F fucking 11 out of 11 passes completed. Lombardi's had an absolute game. All right, some results for you. We lost 2-0 to Sao Paulo uh, at the end of October. We went through and, uh, well, absolutely smashed Internacional there. So we're through to the final there against uh, Botafogo. Uh, we then won 2-1 against Santos and a 2-1 win against uh, Figurense. Uh, we now have two more World Cup qualifiers for the next episode. We'll be taking on Sweden and the Netherlands. Oh, it's all heating up here. It slowed down a little bit, obviously, with the World Cup stuff going on. But uh, hopefully you're not too worried about that. Once the World Cup stuff's done, we'll continue to push through this career mode. Um, because we still need to get Stage 5, even if we do win the World Cup, which I don't think we will. Um, so, yeah, it, everything's everything's looking up at the moment for uh, for NSA. But uh, let's go and have a look at the tables and wrap things up. All right, just taking a quick look at some of the other leagues before we wrap up. And uh, the Glory have started with two wins, two draws in eighth position behind Sydney FC. Uh, in Japan, well, Gamba Osaka, 33 points, uh, have started to fall away a little bit. And in the United States, well, Toronto are top on equal points with the Sounders, but they've got two games up their sleeve. So having a pretty dominating season there once again is Toronto. Right, so we'll be taking on the Netherlands and Sweden uh, in our next two group games. And, uh, well, a real chance here. If we can knock off the Netherlands and beat Sweden, uh, could put us in with a real sniff for qualifying for this World Cup. The Copa Brasileira, we are into the final against Botafogo, and uh, that dominating performance there against International should hopefully see us put in a good performance in the final. In the league, we're sitting in sixth position now, 48 points, and uh, things are heating up. Things are heating up. Not too sure how many games remain in the season. I didn't really have a look at that. Not too much to worry about. Uh, I don't think we're going to clinch the top spot off international. There are already way too many points clear. But stranger things have happened, and you never, never know. So we'll be back with the next episode in a couple of days' time uh, for the international games. We'll see you then. I'm Spiron DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one.